market. So you have five out of 11 sectors in the S&P are in a correction, and you've seen about $3 trillion wiped from U.S. equities. Tom DeMarc of DeMarc Analytics weighed in on the bottom of the market. Here's what he said. We're somewhat in alignment, in alignment with uh, 1987. We did decline a little bit, a little bit additional, and then we rallied, and that's what we're looking for here. We got a good chance that today could mark the low, and ideally we close down today, and then we start up next Monday. Well, for more on the trade, Alan Nuckman of Agora Financials joins us from Chicago. Alan, do you agree? We're going to hit the bottom today. Uh, I'm looking to see if we test those lows. That's how markets behave. We had the big sell-off, obviously, on Monday and Tuesday, where you had the uh, futures make those extreme lows and actually close positive that day. Uh, markets often come back to test those those pressure points. So it'll be important to see what kind of reaction we get today and how we follow through or fail to follow through. But I, I think he is correct that we are starting to stabilize and a couple of factors to pay attention to. The VIX right now is nowhere near where it was earlier this week. So that fear factor is gone. Obviously, that was a unique situation with that short squeeze nonsense there. But also, bonds are not near their lows. So uh, bonds have, have firmed up a little bit. So I'm feeling a little bit better better about where the market stands. Yesterday was a downward push, but again, it was only it was only 4%, so we're not talking about catastrophic times. I'm looking at this as a profit taking uh unwind right now uh, until proven otherwise it's not just us and i mean by that i mean the u.s it's a global uh pullback here because we've gone essentially straight up the s p is still up 70 percent over the last five years and we're unchanged over the last three months hey alan how are you positioned today especially those last two hours of trading when we just have really seen acceleration to the downside Right, we saw acceleration, but in percentage terms, focus on percentages. You know, we're, we're down 6% for the week. It's, you know, to even bring up 1987, I think, is is, is farcical. Uh, you know, that was down 23% in one day. Uh, this, this is big point moves because we're at extremely high levels. You've got three choices. You buy, you sell, or you keep your hands down. So what That's are you doing? Right now, from a... From a trader's perspective, I think the reward to risk is on the buyer's side. If you buy here and put in a stop loss and it goes down to make new lows, you're not out that much. From a reward standpoint, I think there's more upside potential than here. Selling in a hole, how has that worked for over the last eight years? Every time people yeah. got short, if they haven't taken those profits immediately, they got slammed and lost their money. Alan, great to get your perspective, Alan Nuckman of Agora Financial, but it's going to be a really interesting way to see how traders handle the close today. And you got two days until the next trading day. Oh, yeah.